Hey guys, so uh, I went ahead and picked up a diamond uh, ball polisher. Uh, a couple reasons. Uh, one is, um, you know, it, it does a really good job and they're, they're uh, you know, pretty solid units. And the other thing is that the ball polisher that I'd made was really loud and it was noisy and yeah, a couple other things. It's whisper quiet! Is it supposed to be stupid? It's not stupid. It's advanced. And what was funny is uh, some of you may remember the old ball polisher video of how to make one yourself for, you know, basically the cost of a bucket. Uh, I had gone on a bunch of forums and I had seen if anybody had one of these diamond polishers for sale, which by the way, you can't find these things for sale. Nobody sells them once they have them. So that should tell you something about diamond ball polishers themselves. Once people have them, they never go on sale. Nobody ever has a used one. So people had said, oh, Eric, why don't you just, uh, you know, make one yourself? And then they would post a link to, to, to the video I made, which I found hilarious in so many different ways. So there's a bunch of reasons why I bought this. Uh, a, it's quiet. B, it's got a timer on it as well. And C, I really think it does a much better job. Now, I have already polished uh, these guys down here, okay? and uh, turned out pretty good. I play, you know, I try to play at least once a day for at least an hour just to just to have some fun, hit some balls around and, and just, you know, try to stay as yeah, medium in stroke as possible. So uh, these are already polished. I'm gonna go ahead and throw those in there, but I got a fun experiment because I've got a really, really old pool ball that was given to me uh, by a friend. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and Load a couple of those in there. Now this guy right here, look at this. Look, <laughs> look how not shiny that is. This is actually from a bar table, uh, from a bar near me, and just notice there's absolutely zero shine to this at all. If you can get a good look at it, it's absolutely just dulled, and nobody loved you, poor little pool ball. So uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just have a little experiment, remember? Okay, this is the before. Okay, this is what it looks like before. And uh, let's go ahead and throw it through the polisher, see what happens. And I've got two different kinds of polish here that are both uh, Aramith style. So here's one that's a cleaner, basically, you know, just your everyday stuff. But then I've got this uh, restorer. So it's for really old, worn pool balls. And let's just see if this stuff and this polisher can do it. And they recommend 15 to 20 minutes per uh, you know, per cycle. Uh, so we're going to do two cycles, one with the restorer and one with the cleaner. So uh, go ahead and I'm just going to a little dab will do you, right? As AVE would say. Go ahead and let's just, let's just, just shake that up real quick so I can get all a bunch of runny mess. Nobody, <laughs> nobody likes a runny mess. That's, that's a, there's a joke in there somewhere. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of polish. These have already, already been polished. So, but I'm just going to go ahead and just throw a little bit of yeah, just a just a little tiny dab on it. This uh, red guy, uh, the, this one, I'll put a little bit extra. Kind of get it, get it in there, nice and nice and deep black. There we go. Okay, so go ahead and turn it on. Put it on for like we said, 15 minutes or so, right? It's got a timer. Already quieter because you can hear my voice. It's whisper quiet. Uh, but go ahead and let it run. We'll come back, do stage two. Just about done. Let's go ahead and flip the switch. It's got a timer, which I think is a nice feature that the uh, the old bucket one doesn't have. But just go ahead and stop it here and see how it did. This is our test ball. Already, already looking a heck of a lot better. I don't think it's ever going to be perfect. Let's be honest, but. Uh, it's already already repaired quite a bit and uh, yeah smoother to the touch too so let's go ahead and do the last step which is yeah, the cleaner bit is our kind of our test deal but yeah if you look at a brand new yeah, it's not quite brand new about a uh, yeah, year and a half worth of play and uh, you know many years of neglect here on this guy here so this is this is one of your bar table cheapo balls that comes with uh, whatever coin op you got versus uh, you know eh, pretty it's rounder than the uh, <laughs> than the cheaper ball, believe it or not. So let's go ahead and give her one final 
15 minute deal here. These gotta get these all gotta get washed anyway. So there we go. And uh, the instructions say you can't add this while it's moving, so not a big deal as well. So here we go. Just crank her back up another 15 minutes, and uh, hey, we'll be back. I'm gonna I'll hit some balls over here, but uh, stay right there. Alright, we're back. Uh, pretty much done here within a minute or so, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn her off. And here we go. So, this is, ooh, they're actually a little warm to the touch, so they've been in there for quite a while, but you can see, that daily use on this ball, pretty darn good. I would say so myself. And here's our test ball, if you remember. Now let me pull out uh, one, of the, one of the wives' yeah, chamois here. Go ahead and Wipe her off, make sure there's no dust or anything on it. Or any extra schmoo. But, it's a heck of a lot better. I will say that. It's not perfect. No, it's not perfect. Uh, it's never going to be perfect, uh, just because this has been hit so many dang times. that uh, and, and nobody took care of it, so it's basically just worn off its entire coating. And that's about as best as we're going to do. So, I mean, just kind of give a comparison between a... This is a ball that's been used pretty much every day for about, oh, you know, a year and a half but it's been taken care of. And this is a ball that has probably, oh, not been taken care of ever and used for about, I'd say close to, just depending on where I was, oh, seven, eight years or so. Still does a pretty decent job. This one still clearly has a clear coat. These are different balls, of course, different makeups, but um, uh, it does a pretty good job. Got it back to uh, close as it's gonna get. It's nice and smooth to the touch. It'll probably roll nice too and probably reduce the amount of skids. So uh, it's quiet, I will say. It does uh, seem to do a pretty good job. And uh, you know, I can have it going while company's over and nobody really knows. So that's why I went with a, a diamond polisher, spent the money, went kind of all in. So you know, if I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this pool thing, it's gonna be all in or nothing. So uh, I've gone all in, decided I'm gonna do it. And um, you know, if you have the means, I suggest doing it. But if you ever find one of these used, Holy cow, pick them up because uh, good luck finding them used. I couldn't. Then uh, they're, you know, they're, they're worth the money in my opinion. You spent a lot on balls. Might as well keep them clean. Okay? So, thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one. See you.